This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. We're back with another awesome ARC mod spotlight and today we are taking a look at teleport pads. Honestly, I don't know how I missed this one. I scan the workshop every day for potential mods to spotlight and somehow this one slipped through my fingers. It's so simple, so elegant, works beautifully and it's awesome. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're going to do the usual. We're going to go in, we're going to take a look at our Ingrams. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can see it right here. It's going to cost you zero Ingram points to learn and you have to be level 70 to learn it. Let's take a look at the crafting cost. It's actually not too terrible. 20 polymer, 20 electronics, 20 crystal, and 100 metal. Not bad for how freaking amazing they are. So as you can see, I have one right here. And if I stand on top of it and I hit E, it will activate the teleporting effect. And after a few seconds, bam, I'm teleported. That's it. That's how freaking awesome and easy they are. But there's a little more to them than that. So if you see here, it says one dash blue and that is the name of the teleporter. You link them through the name and you can change the color by assigning the colors to them. So you can assign a few different colors to them. You can assign blue, green, red, brown, and water. And all you have to do is type that at the end of the name. So let's place one down real quick and I will show you how to do that. So if we place one here, and we just hold down the E button and we click rename teleporter. We're going to name this teleporter three. We'll put a dash and we will type in water. Click accept. Now let's come on out here. Let's just place one right here and we'll do the same thing. Rename three dash water click accept now if I look at it and hit E and there you go and we're teleported so if you are changing the color you actually change the name as well so you can change the color anytime you want but you have to change the name on the corresponding teleporter so if you look here and we change the name to three dash red and click accept and then we try to use it it doesn't do anything but if we run out here and we hold down E and we click rename and we rename this one to three dash red and click accept and then it will teleport us now and it will be the color red so you can rename these to any of the colors that I mentioned at any time you want. All you have to do though is make sure that you have access to both teleporters. So don't go renaming one if you don't have a way to get back to the other one. Also some other things I noticed if we teleport back to the other ones here. They don't seem to have a range on them. So if we come down here and we click on this one, you can see that it makes it pretty green and it teleports us all the way up here. Now, if you look, base is all the way down there. So yeah, that's, that's kind of far, but we can do better than that. If we take a look at this one here, you can see that I have it labeled V we're going to activate it and now we're all the way up on top of the volcano if we take a quick jump you can see that the base is all the way down that way 
So that's pretty far. I haven't tested it further than this, but that's a pretty long distance to be able to teleport and tells me that the range on these is probably infinite. I'm pretty sure you can teleport wherever you want and put your teleporters wherever you want in any distance without having any issues. So there's one other thing I want to cover and we're going to do that with these short range teleporters that I have. If you take a look at the teleporter, you can see that it says one dash blue teleporter locked. Locked means that you have to hit E to activate the teleporter, but you can also unlock the teleporter. Then whenever you stand on it, it automatically activates the teleporter for you. Which is a pretty handy feature for quick things. So if I was to put one of these down on the ground where it can be kind of dangerous, as you can see there's a raptor down there, I could set it so that all I have to do is run across it and it immediately activates. And if we teleport back, you can see that I have a chance to step off before the teleporter is activated again. We can look at it and lock it back and we're good to go. The other thing is that this will teleport your dinos for you because it has that bubble and anything that is inside that bubble when you activate the teleporter will get teleported. Well, okay. So if we walk our Pteranodon over here and we hop off of him, High jump boost deactivated. And we activate the teleporter. I don't even need to be on him. He's just going to get teleported with us. And you can see now we are back in the volcano. And he got teleported along. Want to teleport him back? Not a problem. This would be great for when you're out mining. Set one of these up in the volcano. Take your Anki over there. And you're good to go. Fill him up. And you can bring him back directly into your storage room that way. So that is it to this mod. It, like I said, it's super simple, super elegant, works like a charm, and it's awesome. It's, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it in for the mod spotlights and all that other stuff. I'll use it to get around. Uh, I'm very picky on what mods that I keep on here. I uninstall them usually right after I spotlight them, but this one is definitely sticking around because it is just so freaking unbelievably handy. I advise getting it if you're playing your single player, if you're playing on multiplayer, you run a server, this is a definite have to mod. You can also hide the Ingram if you want and there is a uh, admin version that anybody can use as well if you run a server. Well, that's going to call it for this mod spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Also, if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Until next time, thanks for watching.